Hey guys, it's Dave and it's Friday, so I'm going to do a quick video. It's been a little while since I've done one, done one, so I figure about time to get back into the game here. So this time I'm going to do another application screencast, and the application I'm talking about today is called LiveStation. So I'll go ahead and bring it up real quick. Oh, not Live Mesh, LiveStation, please. And uh, the cool thing about this is that it's multi-platform. I try not to stick with a bunch of uh, just Mac only applications because I realize uh, as much as I like my Mac not everybody um, likes Mac or not everybody uses Mac and that's cool with me I use other platforms as well so it's good to switch it up a little bit and so LiveStation is on every platform Windows, Mac, and Linux so no matter what you don't have an excuse to at least try it out it's completely free and what it does is it pulls down a bunch of different um, broadcasts of news channels from around the world so as you can see right here, we're um, watching Al Jazeera English. Um, and you can see the video is pretty good. I think I have this blown up a little bit. You can change the uh, the size, so we'll put it back time back down to one times. So this is the default size. It's not huge, but it's perfect for when you just want to have something going off in the corner of your desktop. Um, and just so you can pay attention, maybe you hear something, you want to watch it for a couple seconds. If you know me at all, you know that I love having some sort of audio or video or something, you know, music, podcasts, video podcasts going while I work on my computer just because to me just sitting down and watching TV is sort of, it seems sort of lazy to me. It's not necessarily lazy because not all the time when I'm working on my computer or doing something on my computer it doesn't mean I'm doing something that's really useful, but it just, I feel like I'm, I should be doing something while I'm taking in information from things like podcasts. So this is another way to expand on that. With this, you can get information, um, you know, all the world news, and if there's anything that's, uh, you know, just broke out, you're listening to it, it's in the background, kind of like some somebody listened to the radio, um, and it's there if you need it, and it's not there if you don't really care to pay attention to it. So I'll turn this up just a little bit Everybody so you can hear united. it. There's a huge discussion going on. There are a lot of differences in the Supreme, Supreme And as you can see, you get a little bit of a... Various different factions. A little bit of information about whatever channel you're on. And you can switch through different channels. So if I click down, you can see some of the different ones that they offer. I'll go back up to CNBC real quick. And then you hit enter and it should connect. Of course, it pulls in the feed. It takes a little bit of time depending on whatever. Uh, station you want to watch confidence to foreign investors. Here we have but, CNBC uh, so so it's really local factors here but you know like we can't ignore global factors anyway <laughs> no we cannot have not through this year Nitish uh, this so that's pretty cool uh, obviously there are a ton of different channels um, you can search for new ones these are the ones I think I've added a couple this is in my channels um, and but most of these are just the default ones generally what I watch is Al Jazeera English that's a really good station but I think I added CNBC here um, and you can just search for whatever you want so if you're looking for something in particular just type in a query I can see MTV right there so I'll search for that and then we can play this or we can add it to our channels go ahead and play it real quick see what's going on alright so that's that um, and then if I want to add this to my channels I could flip back over to my channels and it should be in here somewhere. There it is, right there. So obviously you can sort of set up uh, your favorites and then come back to them as you want. Um, you can see what's hot, so anything that has uh, a good rating. They also have comments. doesn't seem like very many people have left comments here. But uh, the different ratings, you can see what people are digging. And then there's alerts and even chat. So people, different people who are running the live station <clears throat> um, application can come in and chat about whatever channel they're watching, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's another cool feature that I like, and it's the fact that you can just get rid of this whole bottom thing. These are uh, cool functions to have, but sometimes you just want to get rid of uh, everything and put something in the corner, which is what I like to do, so that it's not really in my way, but it's there if I need it. So you can shrink it down, put it in the corner, and uh, watch as you want to watch, pretty much. You can also change the size of the video, like I, I had in the beginning, I believe, um, it up to 1.5. So you can go up to the view menu, and you can zoom to different um, sizes. We can go to two times here. Obviously, that's a lot bigger. And then you can go to um, full screen, even. And obviously, since this is all um, 
streamed, you can see that there's a lot of artifacts when you blow everything up to full screen. Uh, but that's just how it is with the streaming uh, video. Uh, I'll get back out of here. Some of the channels are, are higher quality. It just depends. Usually Al Jazeera English is pretty good, even when it's blown up quite a bit. In this channel, we're seeing a lot of motion and stuff, so that's why it's pretty bad. But I'll go ahead and put that back down to the normal size. Another cool feature is they have this like little round table here, so you can flip through the different channels, and if you find something you like, go back here, just hit enter, and it'll automatically connect to that. This kind of reminds me of the Live Mesh website, just the way it's kind of like a, a turnstile around the main element here. We can turn this up. In business and does not want to be filmed for security reasons. There are many people who don't like to work with Jews. And if you want to blow it up full screen, you can just click that off again. Don't know I'm Jewish. So it works really well. It's just another way to take in media. I think I, I made a Twitter post and said that this application has made it so that I don't really even have to watch TV anymore. It's another step away from TV because it seems like every day we get another form of media through uh, internet streaming. So this is just another way to get your information while you're doing work or whatever you're doing on your computer. So it's a pretty nice application. Like I said, multi-platform. They have an app for um, Windows and Linux as well, so there's no reason to not try it out, and it's completely free. I have to give props to Alex Lindsay of MacBreak Weekly because that's where I heard about this application. I was listening to Mac MacBreak Weekly, and he mentioned it, and I went, and went ahead and tried it out. So props to them. They're always doing great work, and I hear about a lot of cool applications. So uh, thanks to them for that. Um, this is just another quick video, another tweet update. Sorry about that. Um, and we'll see you sometime soon. If you have any recommendations of what you think is cool, applications you think are cool that I should check out, please leave a comment or if you have a, something to say, let me know and I try to get back to every one of them. Uh, as always, you can check me out at davekemick.com. That's where my blog's at. Uh, comments are welcome there as well. So uh, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.